Hi. In tutorial 3, we've seen primitives. Open sphere primitive from scene menu. Reset the view. In the validation pop up, there is a mirror choice select mirror and validate sphere. Select sphere and separate them with gizmo. You can see that sphere is mirrored. This is the mirror icon. They are grouped now. Use inflate tool to shape. Both of them shaped. Now, let me look to the mirror pop up. Select mirror. And this pop up. We are seeing that mirroring is at radial X. Unselect radial X and select radial Y. This time mirroring occurred in radial Y. Unselect radial Y and select radial Z. This time mirroring occurred in radial Z. Go back and select all radials. Select radial Y with those. Radial Z with 4. What does it mean? Before mirroring, it duplicates as many as there are. Now, we have to validate them. There are three options for validating. Choose, join children, as we saw in our previous video, mirror parent, sphere child, so we combined all spheres. If you want to keep them like that, you can change the name. Or you can separate them, select separate and delete, now they separated. Make and do and this time select, keep instances. With that option, they became group. We have learned before that we can play separately in the group option. If you want, can delete group and separate them. What else can we do with symmetry? Where are the symmetry settings? To open the symmetry settings select this menu, and there is a symbol there. Enable symmetry. Let's see what we can do by changing the radial planes value. Set radial x to 10. Use crease tool in radial x alignment. Did you see the red dots? These are 10 symmetrical dots that will shape the object. Now give a value to radial y. Make 10. Reset view. The green dots showing which side of the radial y you gave 10 values is. Give 10 to radial Z. If we don't shape it from the right place, the shape will be different. You see blue dots. This is the place we have to begin our work. If you do it too many times, the shape topology changes in bad way. We'll try to make little mushrooms with inflate tool. To inflate downwards, sub must be selected. Select radial Y2 to make them for peace, or you can clone. Now let's rotate the mushrooms with the gizmo to create a view for them. Open cylinder primitive from scene menu. Let's create different forms with the cylinder. You can make great works by trying it yourself. Enable symmetry and give value 10 to radial Y. Choose crease tool. This have to be our way to form. Let's try. Make radial Y, 8. You can create many different base forms. Make it 4. Or use inflate tool by decreasing the level. Or plane is Y, but choose radial Z. In gizmo, blue is Z, let's form from this way. We saw symmetry in this tutorial. With symmetry, you can give your objects the forms you want by using your imagination. See you in the next video.